Guys, welcome to this 5 minute blast. Let's start with mechanism of action of lignocaine, that is a local anesthetic agent lignocaine. Consider here is where the neurons are. Consider here is where the neurons are. We have the neurons situated. Does I have a watt over here? I want to do a surgery on that watt. I have to remove it. I take up a scalpel, put a small incision over there. Because of the pain impulse which is getting transmitted, because of the motor impulse which is coming down, I will just take my hand out. How this impulse is going to be transmitted from here towards the brain, that's what I am going to be explaining up right now. Consider here is where the incision which is made. The incision is made over at this point and here is where the brain is. We have the brain at this point. Normally, remember this, inside the neurons it is always negative. Inside the neurons, when it is at rest, it is always negative and acidic. Negative and acidic. Remember this basic concept because with which we are going to be applying the mechanism of action of lignocaine. Here is where the sodium channels are. Here is where the sodium channels are. When the incision has been put, there is going to be opening of the sodium channel. Sodium will gain entry inside those cells. There is going to be influx of sodium. Because of influx of sodium, negatives will be converted to positive. So, thereby the impulse is going to be transmitted to the next cell. Again, influx of sodium, negative converted to positive. Influx is transmitted. A same process is going to be happening by which the impulse is going to be reaching the brain. This is a normal conduction of pain impulse or any sensory impulse which is going to be transmitted. Now let's look at how lignocaine is going to be produced in the responses. Simply put, before administer, before putting that uh, scalpel, what you do, you take up lignocaine in a syringe, you administer that drug locally, right? You administer that drug locally. Now what will happen when you administer lignocaine locally over that before putting that incision? You administer lignocaine, you wait for some 5 or 10 minutes, right? What exactly happens in that 5 or 10 minutes? Again, we have the neurons. We have the neurons here. I hope remember that inside the neurons it is always negative and yeah acidic. I hope remember that now. Inside the neurons it is always negative and acidic. It's negative and acidic. You didn't put the incision here. You have just administered the lignocaine injection. Now the lignocaine is going to be stored on the extracellular area. The lignocaine is going to be stored on the extracellular area. You make sure that this lignocaine is not getting mixed up with the blood by administering adrenaline along with it. Adrenaline will produce vasoconstriction. I hope remember that adrenaline has got no local anesthetic property there. Adrenaline will produce vasoconstriction. It will prevent the lignocaine from going out of that site. It will, it will make sure the lignocaine is accumulated in that site. Now what will happen? Lignocaine. The pH of lignocaine is very similar to body's pH which means majority of the molecules would be unionized in nature. And also, I hope you remember that there is something called as unionized and ionized molecules. Remember this unionized molecules are penetrable in nature. Ionized molecules are non-penetrable in nature. Unionized molecules are penetrable. Ionized molecules are non-penetrable, the vice versa. Now, when you take lignocaine, lignocaine remains as an unionized form on the extracellular area. It remains as an unionized form which means this is a penetrable molecule. It will penetrate the barrier, gain entry inside those neurons. It will penetrate the barrier, gain entry inside those neurons. Now we have lignocaine where in an acidic medium, right? We have a basic drug in an acidic medium. Majority would be ionized, right? I hope you remember that from your childhood chemistry guys, acid and base, what's the primary difference? Acids are H plus donors, whereas base molecules are H plus acceptors. Now this lignocaine will accept because it is a basic molecule, it will accept H plus and be converted to a single positive charged molecule. Now lignocaine is now ionized, it's a single positive charged molecules, ionized molecules are non-penetrable in nature, it will not penetrate any of the barriers, it will be trapped inside the neurons. This is what happens for that 5 or 10 minutes of time which you give before, uh, before putting up the incision. Now, what will happen? 
you have waited for that minimal time now you put the incision for the patient when you put incision what will happen buddy this sodium channel is going to be opened yeah sodium channels will be opened this name sodium channel and the ions name sodium is the name which we have given for our own understanding purposes that channel doesn't know that it is a sodium channel which means and what i'm trying to say is any positive charge will be attracted towards that channel when the channel opens sodium is an ion it can easily pass inside through that whereas lignocaine is a molecule it's a bigger complex it will try to move out via this particular channel but it can't move out instead it will block the sodium channels from the inside it will block the sodium channel from the inside which means simply put lignocaine is a sodium channel blocker it blocks by binding with which part of the uh, sodium channel intracellular part or extracellular part it binds with the intracellular part of the sodium channel lignocaine is a local anesthetic agent guys let's meet up in one more five minute blast bye bye